Hi, this is John from Remotify.io and in this Control Surface Studio tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create custom LED feedback for your MIDI controller. If you use MIDI controllers as part of your music production or performance setup, you probably do so in order to take you away from your computer screen and keyboard as much as possible and put yourself in the more tactile world of physical gear. So that means, when something happens in Ableton Live, you probably want to see a visual response on your controller. With Control Surface Studio, each mapping in your script sends LED feedback which you can customise in ways such as changing the colour and selecting the input to send your feedback to. In general, LED feedback works by sending a MIDI velocity value between 0 and 127 from Ableton Live to an input on your MIDI controller. The colour which is displayed depends on the velocity value which is sent. For example, when the Launchpad S receives a velocity value of 79 to one of its pads, it will display red. Whereas if it receives a value of 127, then it will display yellow. And each MIDI controller has its own set of colour assignments, so what displays as red in one MIDI controller might display as green in another. So with that in mind, I'll hop into Control Surface Studio and show you how you can configure your LED feedback settings. There are three places where you can set LED feedback for your script which, depending on your requirements, allow for more increasingly specific configuration. The first place is in the controller's own default LED settings. In a controller's settings form, you will see two options, LED on and LED off. These are generic defaults for the controller. If you leave all of the other feedback settings in your script set to default, then LED feedback will be sent for all of your mappings, and these on-off settings will be used where needed by the script. LED on and off is used whenever an on or off action happens in live. For example, when the play button is activated, an LED on value will be sent, and when it stops playing, an LED off value will be sent. There's also this colour assignments section, but we'll come back to this a bit later. Next is your script's global feedback settings. If I change this to custom, three new options appear. Here you can choose to turn LED feedback on and off globally for the script. You can also set different LED on and off values, which override the controller's default values. The third place is in an individual mapping's own LED feedback section. Here you can override the script's global settings for a specific mapping. You can choose to turn feedback on and off. You can use custom LED on and off settings, as well as choosing the input on your controller to send feedback to. You can even select multiple inputs to send feedback to. I'm going to create a new script for my Launchpad S. I'll give it the name Quick Launchpad Script and set Launchpad as the controller. I'll add a mode containing a play button mapping and assign it to the first pad on my Launchpad. I'll leave everything else set as default for now and install this into Ableton Live. As it's a new script, I'll need to reload live so that the script appears in the control service menu. And then assign it to my Launchpad S. If I press the play button in live, you can see that pad 1 on the Launchpad lights up, and if I stop playback, the LED turns off. And this works when I press the pad on the launch pad as well, which means we have bi-directional feedback, as the feedback works both ways. If we take a look in the Control Surface Studio, we can see that both the mapping and the script are set to default. So it's currently using the controller's default LED on and off settings. If I change the on-off values,
install the update and reload my session in live. When I press play, a different colour is displayed and the same for when playback is stopped. But we changed the controller default and we only really want to change this for one mapping. So let's put the controller's default back. And in our play mapping, change LED feedback to custom. If I leave the send feedback to setting as controller input, this will send the feedback to whichever input you have selected in the controller input menu. I'll set it to send the feedback to pad 2. Now I just need to install the update and reload my session. Now when I press my play button, instead of pad 1 lighting up, pad 2 now lights up instead. And if I add multiple inputs for the send feedback to setting, install this and reload live. When I press play, feedback is sent to multiple pads. In the controller, we also have the color assignment section. This is used for assigning color names to their velocity values as used by the MIDI controller. We have a post on our forum which contains velocity value settings for various MIDI controllers and this includes velocity settings for the Launchpad S. I'll link to this in the description for this video. You can also find these in the user manual for your MIDI controller or have a quick google and you can usually find them online somewhere. I'll add a few of these as colour assignments. Now when I switch back to my mapping and open the LED on menu, those colour assignments are now displayed next to their values, making it easy to know which colour you're adding. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth tutorials on using Control Surface Studio with Ableton Live.